Hello, how you doing? Yesterday, I had a doctor's appointment. You know, one of those telemedicine ones where you get on the telephone and you talk to the doctor so she can do whatever she has to do from where she is. And before the doctor got on the line, the assistant got on the line and started asking me these questions like, uh, are you sleeping well? Are you eating a lot more or a lot less? And you know, after a while you realize she's giving you that test for depression because everybody these days is struggling with so much difficulties that uh, they're seeing a lot of that and they just want to get out ahead of it. And it reminded me of the weather report that I used to give my husband every morning when I was far less functional than I am today. And what I used to do was wake up in the morning and do an emotional inventory so I could let the brother know what kind of things I might be up to on that day. I, you know, if I'm blustery and blowing, I let him know. If I'm happy and bopping and popping, I let him know. If I'm angry, I let him know. So all hands can be on deck and don't nobody get hurt. Might I encourage all of us to do the same? Now, I don't give him a weather report anymore because I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I can, I'm, a, I'm better at it now. I, I know, I know, unless it's, it's really, unless bitch Lynn blows in, then I let him know, I say, eh, she's here. Just don't know what she's going to do today. Whatever she says, take 50% off the top because she, she's, she's at me, you know, let everybody know because in the beginning of our marriage, and I'm going to get back to the part that I think you ought to do. Well, in the beginning of the marriage, I used to discomfit my husband all the time. I used to do things like, I don't remember this, but he told me a story. When, you know how on Thanksgiving everybody get drunk and then says, remember when? Well, we were doing remember when drunk in the backyard. And he says, do you remember when you we were first married and you used to come home from work, stop by your apartment that you had yet to give up ostensibly to get your mail, and then you wouldn't come back. I said, nope, I don't remember that. He said, well, you used to. I had to get you to force you to change your address at the post office because you kept using it as an excuse not to come home. And I could never figure out why it is you wouldn't come home because you weren't fighting, we weren't fussing. And the thing was that the wrong Lynn had showed up. And I was, I was, I was distressed and I was a loner and I married a man with four kids and I would get, I would get overwhelmed, but I didn't have the presence of mind to look through my mind and find what the problem was. I just did what my mind told me to do. My emotions told me to do, which is secure yourself, Lynn, be alone. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do. Not secure yourself and be alone, but always know which dog is barking. Always know what emotion is sparking. Always know what's happening in your head. There's something wrong with all of us. I, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with having a screw loose as long as you know which one it is and what to do when it starts to wobble. That's, that's my superpower. The ability to know what's happening in my head and not get, get crazy behind it. You got to know how you're feeling because when you're feeling, you do it faster and more efficiently than you think, especially when you're afraid. Fear does not fall to the facts easily. It, it, it works around it. It works through it. That's what politicians do. You know, they can get you to do anything if they scare you first. Handle your mind, handle your head, know where you are. Take your own emotional inventory every morning. You ain't got to give nobody a weather report, but you got to know when the storm is blowing in, just like I figured it out. So I let everybody know. Shelter up, buy some chocolate cake. I need some Krispy Kreme. I'm a simple chick. <laughs> Y'all have a great day.